Welcome to the Salt Circle Podcast. My name is Hank. With me, you're all small. So very small. To him, it's Ben. That is how I see people, yeah. that's I perceive myself as being bigger than everyone, both metaphorically and, and literally. Yeah, yeah, definitely physically. You never felt shorter than someone physically. Never hasn't never. happened. That never happened. Hasn't fucking happened. Ever. I can't even remember what fucking episode that's from, by the way. <laughs> I feel Tabula like... Rasa. Okay. Amazo before he takes off. Yeah. At the end. Gotcha. I was uh, kind of here to talk oh, the start on. of season two of Justice League. Yeah. It's pretty fucking sick. <laughs> We got Superman's correct face. Oh, dude, it looks so much. It's such a small change, but it looks so much better. <laughs> uh, Superman isn't getting fucking annihilated by every single person and weapon he comes across. That's great. Uh huh. He gets he gets his in this f- this first two parter. He gets his greasy smear on my fist line. Dude, it's <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Also, the the fucking, I don't know, just him immediately being like, no, uh-uh, no, 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 fuck you. <laughs> and everyone's like, come on, like, he's in trouble. He's like, nope, no, he ain't. Not our problem if he is. Uh, fucking good. He's, he's <laughs> yeah, gonna... good. <laughs> it's so Whoa. solid. Whoa. And then, Are you not even a Boy Scout? <laughs> Never made his first merit badge. Oh man, that line was great. <laughs> um, so one of the th- things that, in the way they changed the approach to the way they were writing this season, came from a, from the commentary director, like Bruce Tim and James Tucker, to the producers, watching the the commentary track for the movie, the producers <laughs> <laughs> and Mel Brooks talking about how, when he's getting cold feet and like the idea that if you're going to ring the bell, fucking like ring the bell, like ring the bell. Like if you're going to do an idea, if you're going to mm. go for it, fucking go for it. Yeah. And that was kind of like their, their, their guiding thing f- for this going forward with justice league was like, if we're going to do an idea, we should go all out with it and not hold back. But they kind of, you could argue they, they were in season one. Yeah, I could, I could see the argument for it. Yeah. And then, but like what that leads to is like them really punching up the scripts, like on twilight to like really hammer home how fucking mad Superman is. (laughs) And you get the greasy smear line. Dude. Just like... <laughs> yeah. No, I... But you got, you got your, your best buddy, Brainiac, is back. Fucking, yeah, Brainiac. I was... I think the, the moment that... For all of these episodes, it's been so long since I've watched them. The, the thing that... But it lets me know like what, what I took from the episode, right? That is kind of the, sure. the benefit. Um, the thing that I remember most from this is fucking Darkseid, like how he hacked Brainiac. <laughs> just a little like <laughs> chunk, just randomly he put on the, a, yeah, he, the bottom he of He put a, a mother box on him. Yeah. It's a mother like, box. Like the bottom of the table. I don't know. Just ben, look. it's a mother box. It's like a mother board. It, but it's a Fucking box. The visual, the visuality of it was hilarious. Yes, like, yes. It's it like just a fucking you, old. You put the thing on. Shit. You like stuck a thing with tape to the underside of the computer, and it changed all the colors immediately. It was just like, <laughs> oh no. No, but the uh, he put in the red lights. Yeah. <laughs> no, that that shit was good. Um. I remember the all of the the fighting like in that room. Just I don't know. It felt like a step up. 
Like I remember, I remember mm-hmm. watching this episode, and I was like, "Holy shit!" Like all the stuff that Hank was talking about that improves, like it's like immediate. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> like I thought it was gonna mm-hmm. like ramp up a little, but it's just no. like, oh no, they're just like immediately putting all this shit into action. That's incredible. Yes, they were. They were like they were. They were very focused on this episode in particular because it was gonna be the new episode. We're like, all right, we're fixing everything we didn't like about the first <laughs> season right now. We're going. We're bringing back two big Superman villains and smushing them together. Yeah, fucking Superman's. Batman's going to say, next time I let Superman make the plan, fucking hit me. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, And we get the big fucking angry, uh, big angry dark side Superman fight. Dark side fucking steps on Superman's face and Superman fucking tries to burn through his foot with his laser eyes. (laughs) <laughs> that was brutal. I mean, well, I, there, there, there's shit later with his fucking eyes, but my god, yes. I was like, that's wild. <laughs> that's so mm-hmm. much better than it was. <laughs> fucking guy is just out here for an entire season, being like, I forgot that bullets don't hurt and that my eyes are lasers, and now he's like, oh, what if I just look? Yeah, at and him? just like the their fight at the end of um. Superman the Animated Series, Bruce Tim like, storyboarded this fight. Oh, okay. <laughs> and the commentary, he's like, I'm not great at everything with storyboarding, but when the two characters really fucking hate each other, then I can I can do a good fight. <laughs> but they, it's just Hell they really yeah. have to fucking hate each other. <laughs> That's incredible. And then I got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man. Uh, Superman's so fucking mad. It's so good. Dude, and then, like, I don't know. I, I think they do a super good job at the at the end, because it's where, like, shit is collapsing, right? Like, everything's coming down yes. around them, and uh-huh. the, the Flash is helping him out, right? Like, yeah. leave, and he's like, no, oh, he's dead. And it's like, is it, d- 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 hmm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I just think it was very good about, like, we, we've talked before with all this different stuff, like Batman, Superman, like superheroes, and the idea of, like, if this person is going to kill, like, millions of people and they keep trying to, like, eventually it's like, what do you do? Like, mm-hmm. that idea of, like, maybe you are better off just, like, one punch in this dude out of existence. And I think they did great mm-hmm. at making Superman, like, he wanted to fucking off dark side like you could it came through that yeah. like this was a, a a desire and they didn't just have him be like and like not do it like you know flash is there and like i don't know it just it felt good it felt like they walked that line good for for his emotion coming through on it and mm-hmm. yet yet not doing it I'm telling Batman you're not always right at the end. (laughs) You know something? You're not always right. That's true. Uh, Darkseid's saying fucking loser, right? As he fucking blows up. (laughs) Because Superman didn't finish him off. Uh, That's so funny. (laughs) Loser. Yeah, loser is always a good quote. You are a loser. It was a it was a great start. It was a great start to the season. Yeah, like and just like the scale of stuff, like that they show um, in Brainiac's giant head (laughs) thing. Um, they show just like one of his like his ship from his original appearance is just like hanging out in there. Yeah, to really yeah, yeah. give you the sense. Like that context is so good. I thought the yeah. scale of um, like in, like having not introducing, uh, including like the stuff with um, what the fuck is the other place with the new gods, New Genesis, New Genesis. Um, including that stuff was great. Like that, it, that I think that contributed a lot to it feeling big, like the the mm-hmm. scale of of everything. 
Because have we? Yeah, like New Genesis. Have we gone to New Genesis before, really? Much? Mm. I'm trying to think if we did in Superman. Like in the animated series. I, I don't think so. Like they show, they show bits of it in that flashback mm-hmm. thing. Like that info dump that Orion gives. <laughs> you definitely yeah. see it. Um, but yeah, I don't think Superman went there. Yeah, like just getting more of that stuff was was really good. Fleshing that I think out. The ant might be among the new gods they show in that episode. So that's slight continuity error. But I don't remember <laughs> if that's true. I think he might be there. I didn't. I but didn't notice. It's not a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like you would have to remember, like one group shot, <laughs> and he would be in the tiny detail in the background. That's a lot to ask um, of mm-hmm. me, especially. <laughs> <laughs> you mean that time I watched it once? But it is funny, like Orion just completely gets his ass kicked, and then only like coincidentally gets to live. <laughs> <laughs> like he just gets sucked into the. The fucking portal at the end. Yeah, yeah. It's just like... He was so fucking done. (laughs) Dude wasn't ready. That's all he cared about, and he wasn't ready. (laughs) Guy had one fucking job. Mm Mm-hmm. There's that bit with High Father and, like, the students where he's like, you just gotta have patience with these things. But also, let me take care of that for you. Dude, Come on, I, was, I gotcha. Yeah, I was <laughs> like, "What a shit bag!" It's, what? It's like you got it. Sometimes you gotta learn these things. But also, you're a child, and I don't really expect you to learn anything. Yeah, don't. I mean, does don't dish out the like. Yeah, I, I think you know it's the delivery. It's the because oh, yeah. they could have been like, you need you know you you need patience for this, but. Here you go. Instead, yeah. he's like, also, it, like it's we're my... getting we're getting like you know a minute of High Father, and like so all we see is him dish out like this high fluid language, and then immediately backslide on it. Yeah, doesn't he have? There's like something at the end too that I thought was a bit weird. But they're just like, oh, everyone died, and it's like that all is lost, and then the the little kids run up. It's like, no, we're right here. It's like, oh no, you're all alive. <laughs> Like, why did you do that fake out? That was like, it, it didn't mean anything, and it only lasted like two seconds. Yeah. Like, Light Ray's like, I just couldn't find them anywhere. Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. I didn't look behind me. <laughs> look, look, that is, okay, hang on. This is it's an like an trying to find your car keys. This is like in an alternate universe. You just want to find them so bad you can't see them. No, it's face. it's it's different than that because this is set in an alternate universe where nobody looks behind them. <laughs> How many fucking times does someone beat one bad guy when they know there's six of them and then they just don't look behind themselves and they're about to get their ass kicked and then like Hot Girl or somebody swoops in? It's like every episode. Well, that's why, and that's why Batman's so powerful. He has the ability to know what's behind him. <laughs> Not Batman only Beyond, him. though. No, he does. In Return of the Joker, specifically, only. Okay. He's gotten to that level. Yeah, he, gets, yeah, he ascends. Okay. <laughs> but for the entirety of that series, he was like... No, most of the show, he's just done. getting his ass kicked. Bomp. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> but there's there's a moment in Return of the Joker where he gets to do the backwards fist thing. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, anyway, it probably wasn't uh, in the original version that I watched. <laughs> <laughs> Cut it out. It was too violent. It was too good. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was too solid. It's too fun, too too powerful. Um yeah. I mean, anything else on this one? Uh I think that's it. And just like it the show's widescreen now. You got all this side room. Mhm. Good stuff. It is so funny, like, knowing that it was just... The first season was also made for widescreen, but they just made it to be cropped. 
as opposed to making it widescreen and then if it has to be cropped, it has to be cropped. Yeah. It's just a it's a weird thing that it's an interesting thing to think about. Mm-hmm. What the 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 priority how the priority just changed. Well, yeah, it makes sense though, right? Like, yeah, it's becoming the the thing. Yep. Uh, so now we got a Luthor episode. I really fucking like this episode. Just like, yeah, I think Luthor was really good to watch in it. <laughs> like him just being like, mm-hmm. he was my friend. <laughs> <laughs> like just fucking. It gave me not exact vibes, but it approached like the vibes of like Frieza fucking killing Broly's father and then being like, oh my God, <laughs> <laughs> like just uh-huh. being a fucking asshole. But I also, I, I fucking love when he's talking to Mercy. She's like, I turned this company, I made this company so much money. And he's like, you, why'd you fire our best scientist i was trying to save money <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh uh, it's so good also uh, <laughs> also so uh the fact that the android's named amazo mm-hmm. fucking is just great yeah that's classic comic book shit right oh, there oh yeah oh yeah uh, dude oh, uh, the, uh, let me see if I can find an older, like an actual comic book Amazo design. This is not what Amazo originally looks like. I mean, is it the one of him with pointy ears and like green suspenders? Yeah. Yeah, that's the, the Wikipedia link. Just has that yeah. from 74. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Amazo. That's so good. That's so fucking wildly different. <laughs> that's very funny. <laughs> You know, it's comic books from. He went from like a, 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 a just an android kind of neutral thing who you expect to look at his hand and be like, "Who am I? What am I? What is my purpose?" And and, and in 1974, he was just a guy who looks like he goes, "Man, yeah, he looks like a professional wrestler." <laughs> that is, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the yeah. <laughs> he has a fucking a belt buckle. Hell yeah. That's super good. Look, this is what happens when you're a character from 1960. Yeah. Sometimes sometimes you just get stuck with a, with a look. Yeah. Yeah. Like, And the whole idea is that it's like one person with the powers of the Justice League, right? Yeah. Like, that's the, that's the core idea. But the way they do that here is so fucking good. Of him just it's... getting them like one at a time as he's encountering them, and them going, "Oh no, don't let Superman near him." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> stay no, that away. Was, that was great. <laughs> I did. It's like fucking. Oh, we cannot let this man. We cannot let Goku know this thing exists. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's one of those like I'm I'm coming in it coming coming into this like first time being mm-hmm. older probably hurts a little because I was like, what's he running on? What's the what's the he's copying <laughs> fucking like the mace that can hit anything and he has all of Green Lantern's powers. Like that ring needs to be recharged. What does this dude eat? Uh, bowl true. of bowl of Wheaties in the morning. <laughs> Like he's he's all the Justice League people at once. It's um, nanotech, Ben. It's all just it's fucking nanotech. nanotech. Yeah, that's you just know, a fucking Metal Gear. You let <laughs> you let fucking heroes and villains run around long enough, it all just boils down to nano. You just make the chips small enough; they can do anything. It's true. It's true. <laughs> and he runs on whatever the fuck. He runs on all of it. You know. Yeah. Um, and he's just a person, also. Dude, him, him like copying enough people, and then like being around as he's like being around people and becoming like his own person. That was really mm. cool. That was, mm. I wasn't expecting it, but I really, really liked it. I was expecting Martian Manhunter to get absolutely fucked, 
just open your mind to the entire city's thoughts. Big props to the uh, the writing team for so showing a lot of restraint. Because <laughs> those were like the cleanest, most PG yes. rated thoughts that no. city dwellers would. <laughs> he does. He does at least say like, just, "I just didn't expect there to be so much like hatred or whatever." Yeah. Um. But yeah, what they show is just like, oh, this is annoying. Uh. Yeah, it's like it's overwhelming of like. I can't pay my bills. No, oh, what should I get to eat? Yeah. It's like uh <laughs> It's like he's in the movie, the Mel Gibson movie, What Women Want. I assume based on the title and context uh, that he can hear what women want. Uh-huh. He yeah, can hear their thoughts. thoughts. Dude, that sounds like a nightmare. I mean, yeah. hearing anybody, any mass amount of people's thoughts would be a nightmare. But, like, I've seen Anya play The Sims. I don't want any of that smoke, dude. <laughs> I don't need to be hearing that. Uh. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. I think... The the part with uh with him that I it is the, the him opening his mind to the whole city is such a fucking own goal like that's such clearly a bad idea I yeah I don't <laughs> I might not be able to close it yeah you no shit it's like that's not the best bit of writing because it's just like clearly they just needed Martian Manhunter to be busy so he could come in at the end but yeah. They didn't really have a good reason for him to do that. Like, you just, just got to find Luthor. Yeah, they they figured it out. You have Batman with you. Come on. Um, I think the, the comparison I was making for, like, a chunk of this in my mind was uh, the Batman episode where... Is, it named, is, it, is the guy's name just Croc? Killer Croc. Killer Croc. Where he goes out and ends up with like the uh, circus people or former circus people. Uh-huh. And Batman's going through the woods. I was kind of, that's the, what the, epi- that's the, the, the episode that my mind leapt to just because they're both going through the woods. Except the Batman mm. one was so much better. <laughs> like the sure. vibe was just cooler. I don't know. Um, they had, they had Manhunter doing like too much. I think, I don't know. There, there, there was like too much struggle. I don't know. It didn't vibe with me as a woodsy person. <laughs> the woods section didn't vibe with me, which was kind of disappointing. Yeah, I just I don't think that a part of the episode worked. Yeah, but it's fine because the, the Thor part is so strong. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, this was still like I really enjoyed the episode, and the end is so fucking good. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's just like fucking. I can read your mind, Lex. <laughs> then immediately, Lex is like, "Oh God, no! I don't want to be seen." The fucking horror. <laughs> oh shit. Um, and then he says, "You're all fucking ants to me now," and goes Super Saiyan and bounces. Yeah. Yeah, he uh, goes. He goes golden, Frieza. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it also you know felt like uh, Doctor Manhattan or whatever, right? Sure, yeah. it's very Doctor Manhattan. That's true. <laughs> Except he's he's not hanging dong. He's not hanging. They don't have the balls to have him hang <laughs> dong in Justice League, two thousand one kids cartoon Justice League. <laughs> Definitely, <laughs> yep. Uh huh. Correct. Can you just that one's me? not making it past uh, <laughs> standard practices. Can you fucking imagine? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it's uh, it's good shit though. Mm-hmm. I kind of wanted more uh, more Luthor. Like, from these episodes. I don't know. It was just so good. I'm like, I could do another taste. 
Don't worry, you'll get plenty of Luthor before just like it's over. I mean, don't I worry about that one. I, I figure, I figure this is not going to be like a one-off. <laughs> like, no. He's going to come up a few times. I think like the two final seasons are very Luthor filled. Mm. Um. So now we got only a dream. Uh, this one started out so fucking funny. This is the one where it starts out with his dream. He's, like, just having an actual normal, like, dream, right? And his dream yeah. is, like, instead of being a superhero, he's a fucking villain. And he's, yes. like, shit-ass, like, I'm Dr. Destiny. <laughs> it's, uh-huh. just, it's so funny. And then he That's actually it. becomes Dr. Destiny. I don't know. It's just very... He, he, do, he does become Dr. Destiny. It's, like, such a fucking... I mean, I engage in, like, the same bullshit, right? Like, it's like the equivalent daydream of, like, I learned how to forward an email properly, and now I'm going to think about how fun it would be to, like, save the company with this new skill or whatever the hell. <laughs> Except he's like, they're all going to acknowledge me, my the villains, I'm a villain. Like, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, but he's like, about, like, you know, the fucking... I just, I just, you know, he's the guy who's just like, I just, I want the Joker to respect me, you know? (laughs) (laughs) That's how you know you've made it. (laughs) He just, he just wants to become the Joker for the respect of the other Jokers. (laughs) Yeah. Um, I thought this episode was solid, though. Yeah. I mean, really, they're all solid. Is kind of the <laughs> kind of the thing. It's the, um, the thing, yeah. This one was also a little like, I don't know. It was kind of scary. I don't like. I don't like the the whole like dream, like trapped in a dream, like kind of it made me think of like a long Inception lines, like right. If you've ever had the experience of like waking up and you're awake, and then it turns out you're just dreaming, like I hate that. <laughs> it's so cursed. Like Superman's nightmare of like where he can't control his powers. Oh, or... God. Just laser <laughs> eyes on fucking. Always. Yeah. Yeah. Like Terrible. Like Cyclops or something. <laughs> yeah. Um, We got Fat Flash. Fat Flash was so good. Right up there with like overweight Batman. <laughs> no, that was that was so good. And they also they did a as far as like dream sequence stuff go, I don't know. It it felt it felt really solid. Like yeah. and I like how like they're some of them are psychological and then Hawk Girl is just like buried alive. <laughs> Dude, yeah. Like just you know, doesn't always gotta be deep. Yeah. The, reading the Wikipedia page on it right now, though, like, it is funny seeing it in <laughs> in text. <laughs> Flash yeah. can't stop running, and there's, like, all the other shit. Like, everything's frozen and stuff. Green Lantern is, like, nobody knows him. All that. Like, Superman can't control his powers. Hot Girl's Barry alive. <laughs> Just seeing it huh? compared. That is a fear, though. I I can't fucking blame her. No, you just punch your way out. It's, it's fine. Not if you're me. <laughs> I couldn't do that. Oh. It's way more mm. scary when you're bent. It's almost like, wait, you didn't have training specifically about how to punch your way out of being buried alive. Well, it seems like you fucked up. Just like that billionaire on the <laughs> submarine. Fucking. Oh, God. The dude on Twitter, the dude on Twitter who, like, asked I, unironically, like, could you train your body to resist this? And it's like the pressure at the bottom of the fucking ocean. <laughs> no. Answer, no. The answer is Easy. no, you cannot. Your uh, body will resist certain pressures until it suddenly does not. <laughs> yeah. Very funny. I like that he doesn't actually have 
this guy doesn't actually have a costume. He's just like, his like psychic powers are just like make it look like he is that guy at the end. Yeah, like he's fucking Skeletor. Yeah, um, but he's just a dude. It's very funny. Um, I also like Batman getting sleepy and getting <laughs> like like taunted at. <laughs> I have to see if this he, is like turns the, uh... the car radio up. Oh yeah, 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 dude! When he's doing and that, breaks shit. his windshield. <laughs> um, I don't think I sent you. Uh... Oh yeah, yeah, breaking his windshield was good. I don't think I sent you uh... a thing about this. This isn't the. You sent me a fat flash. I, I sent think. you fat flash. Twenty. Okay, that was at this time. No, that was later. What fucking... Remember when I sent you this screenshot of... uh... I can't remember if this is from the last season or not. When I sent you this screenshot, I'd like paused. This must be from last season. I like paused on that horror frame. That was last season. Never mind. Never mind. I'm thinking of other shit. Okay. Got it all mixed up. And this isn't oh, the episode like, where Batman says you don't know my nightmares, right? That was the that was also last season, I think. Oh yeah, it was. Because someone said I'm your worst nightmare, and Batman was like, You have no idea what my nightmares are like. <laughs> right, right, okay. <laughs> I'm sorting it out for myself. That sh- shit, that might have not even have been last season. That might just have been Batman. <laughs> sure. There's a lot of there's a lot yeah. of good stuff. Yeah, I don't remember what thing you referred to. I think there is something. Well, I, I thought there know. was. I thought there was something in this episode with like Batman having a pretty sick quote. Probably to dude. I mean, yeah. That I seems mean, like a thing th- Batman would do. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that fight was great. Yeah. It's all. Pretty good. Batman is just like the best. The <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, just, I don't know. I he, His power is just like being him, I guess. Uh-huh. Like, yeah. You know, like, I, I really love Well, it's Superman. kind of a joke because, like, Green Lantern's. Like power is supposed to like come from his willpower. It's like, but actually, the one person with just like with the most willpower is Batman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's this was this was a good example of of him just like being a step above. Yeah, which I think I mean, he's, he's like I just he's like I hadn't slept in three days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think, I don't know. It's kind of nice now that now that I'm thinking on it. Like the contrast of just like you have all these, you know, literal like aliens and gods and whatever, like uh-huh. all this crazy shit. And he's just like technically speaking, a guy <laughs> who's yep. just like I don't know. It's really cool now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, it's neat because I'm also just a guy. Yeah, but you're not Batman. Well, yeah, but everybody has the capacity to be like <laughs> play their part. It's the capacity to be Batman, not Batman, but like sure. be a part of yeah. the the good or whatever. Uh huh. Um, I do just like that this guy is just like a guy who just wanted to be a supervillain and then he becomes a supervillain. Oh, totally. The contrast between <laughs> like getting rejected by a girl and that's why you become a villain versus <laughs> just wanting to be the villain. Yeah. Huge just gap. Thinking, Superman <laughs> sucks and being a villain would be cool. <laughs> it is it, yeah. <laughs> Just like the, I mean, it's like, it's like yeah, the, simple. Uh, 
It doesn't, this doesn't have to be complicated. Yeah, no. <laughs> Guy gets in a fucking, sees a science machine, is like, that thing is going to fucking give me superpowers. <laughs> that thing's going to go wrong. <laughs> yeah. I got this. And it works. And then he still gets, you know, he still loses. Well, yeah, he's a, cause, he made the cause mistake of being a villain. Yeah. In a Justice League episode. <laughs> he wants what to are be you doing. The villains always lose. I was gonna say, like, you watched all the villains get their ass fucking kicked up and down the door the, the, the yeah. through the door. But like mm-hmm. he wants it anyway. I mean I mean respect. Really. He's no he's no Gwenpool. He doesn't have like the full meta knowledge of what it means to be a villain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> He thought um, it was going to be fine. He thought it would work out. He thought it would be so cool. It's really about being cool. Yeah. yeah I know. Look. <laughs> His fucking skull face. Look. <laughs> this, is my, this is my cool face. Oh, yeah. yeah I'm, it's gonna hell yeah, skull. dude. Yeah. Name a thing He did also want to get back at his ex-wife. That was also part of his... <laughs> I mean, sure. That's what we call a perk <laughs> of being a supervillain. You can like, you know, he was also a dick bag in that same way. There but. is a difference between <laughs> your, that that situation turning you into a villain and wanting to become a villain, and as a side yeah. effect, getting to you know, yeah, uh-huh. it's a very being important the kind of difference. person that would be in that situation. Um, <laughs> we got maid of honor. Where we got yeah. Wonder Woman and Bruce Wayne having a dance. Oh, dude, it was so good. <laughs> so good. so fucking. Uh, when fucking Bruce realizes he doesn't need to change it to Batman and just dude. starts eating snacks. Dude, he's uh. like, he's ready to fucking go and wonder. He's just like, oh, yeah, give me, give me an order. This. More champagne? <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> it's, it's so, so fucking good. good. <laughs> also this was pretty um was this the first time we saw wonder woman like not in her wonder woman costume I outside so. of like her i think it's also the first island. time we've seen bruce in this show even yeah so that they was they don't like they they were pretty committed to them being in their outfits in season one yeah no that was it was sick I mean, it, it was cool just seeing it, like, I mean, that was kind of what I liked about the the Superman and Batman series, right? Like, yep. I do like seeing them just be, like, doing their thing, kind of. Yeah. No, that was, that's, like, what's so good about this, the first episode in this two-parter. It's just, like, getting to see that stuff. Mm-hmm. Wonder Woman just, just going to a fucking function as a person. And everyone's like, that's fucking Wonder Woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But sometimes you can't hide it. This is why you need a mask. You need a cowl. If she had a cowl, she'd be fine. Uh, I think she's fine anyway. I mean, yeah, obviously. But like, you know. Uh-huh. And I do like the her and Bruce flirting. That's fun. Oh, dude, I'm here for it. I'm so easy to sway. You know, I watch like 30 <laughs> seconds of this. I'm like, I'm in. This is my ship. Uh, Just that easy. And then we get, and we got our plot with the princess of Casnia being a, having an attempted kidnapping. That Miss Zero sense of self preservation. Uh oh, you back? Yep. Okay. Discord the little shit out. <laughs> yeah, we're fine. Yeah. Um, yeah, she she has no sense of self preservation. No. YOLO. Fuck it, dude. Before Yo Yo. Also Before it was um, codified. <laughs> this like the dude was not like Savage was not being subtle. His name ain't Vandal no. Subtle. 
I, he's he's Vandal Savage the Third. He's a completely different person. Uh, obviously, yeah. He'd have to be over hundred. Yeah. <laughs> I love when he's revealing, he's like, oh, I'm far older than that. I have a caveman. Here's the thing. <laughs> I fucking hate it because I love that character character archetype. I find it very, I love having a character that's like, yeah, I'm fucking ancient <laughs> by like numerous measures. I love that they, in this show, they just have him say... The first time I got powers from a meteor. <laughs> <laughs> and we never hear about any others. <laughs> but I didn't even like internalize that. Holy shit. <laughs> the first time I got powers from a meteor. Oh my god. It's I didn't so internalize good. that at all. That's fucking incredible. <laughs> yeah. What do you do if you've got powers from a meteor? You fucking hang out and you see if any other meteors show up eventually. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. That checks out. That's what I would do. <laughs> uh, it's so funny. It's not. But it is so funny that he's like, he is just Vandal Savage, but he's like playing it off. <laughs> he's just like laughing inside. It's like, oh, oh, Wonder Woman, you fucking know it's me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, in hindsight, it is very funny that we just got the other episode with him without the context. And uh-huh. then they included oh, yeah, in yeah. this one. It, it's very weird. Like, in that, in that end of the last season, we never got the lowdown on Vandal Savage being a caveman. It never. Yeah. We only get it now. That's very good. It's very funny. They're just like, there's something up with that. How is he in the future, but also here? Yeah, yeah well, mm-hmm. look. Oh, you fly. Far older than you, that. Multiple people on this team fly. Whatever. It's true. <laughs> Hawk Girl flies without even really flapping her wings that much. Yeah. They're she can uh, just fucking be there. <laughs> They're there for that's a fashion accessory. No, 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 no. Those are they're, they're probably wings like, in the same. They're like rudders. They're technology. Or something. Yeah, they're they're nanotech. Whatever. It's nanotech. Oh. No, they're not nanotech because uh, <laughs> she gets like hit later on. Yeah, it's getting a little mm-hmm. outside of the scope of this episode. Yeah. But you know, I refuse to believe she's not winged. Her name's Hot Girl. Okay. And to be honest, I dislike the idea that she's wearing a helmet. That's just her face. <laughs> she's definitely <laughs> That's just her head. Uh, I haven't seen her without the alleged <laughs> helmet, Hank. So you know what? It's definitely a helmet. Um <laughs> Yeah. He's got, Savage has a rail gun. Yeah, it's a rail gun on the, the, the satellite. Mm-hmm. That's just right yeah, there. He had a rail gun um, expansion installed on the International Space Station. As you do. Um, yeah. Flash befriends the satellite to uh, <laughs> save the Earth. They fist bump. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? Who knew that Common Rider would keep coming up with all these fucking space weapons that need to be befriended? It's true. When you need someone to make best friends with an orbital space weapon. Yeah, it, it keeps coming up. Yeah, it was. I mean, it's. You know, it's not the coolest. Railgun satellite design I've ever seen. No. But it was still pretty cool. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, there's not much special about the the end of the episode, I guess. Really. Yeah, nothing. Nothing like, yeah, they, <laughs> they win. 
Yeah. But like there wasn't but, any like. But all the news. all the juice is in like the extra details, like Wonder Woman coming back from a night of partying, and then Batman's just sitting in her room. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, you know what, you know what, the ending was special, but we're not, we're, we're thinking about the wrong ending. The bit where okay. Wonder Woman says she wants that dance, uh-huh. and Batman's like, I have no idea what you're talking about. She's like, Yeah, okay. <laughs> I want to dance though. Like that he, he was. Does, he oh. does say, I have no idea what you're talking about, dude. That it's peak. It's fucking peak. <laughs> and she's like, Yeah, okay. I still want to dance though. <laughs> like she, <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, that's that's good. I was forgetting. Oh. But yeah, that you uh, know, that's unrelated to the satellite. <laughs> yeah, 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 the superhero plot. Yeah. It's whatever beyond. I think Vandal Savage is very good, mostly because his voice actor is so fucking good. Yeah. Um now we got Hearts and Minds, Green Lantern episode. Man, you know what? I'm looking. So I've been looking at my uh, my screenshots. Mm-hmm. I and I can't tell. My folder is like slightly disorganized because one of these shots is in like the middle of of this current stuff, but it's from like last season. Mm-hmm. I wonder if the the shot of. Uh, the the horror thing that I got I can't remember if that's from last season I wonder if it's from a uh, Martian Manhunter like logging on to everybody's brain at once <laughs> and then did we get that I don't know because there's another you shot in this episode and I can try and figure it out I'll I'll send it to you again it's it's this one I've sent it to you before I could probably just search like have, oh like a Remember, I sent. I definitely sent that to you before. I really no. I have no idea. You don't remember at all. Oh, I was losing my mind at it. Let's see. No, you know what? This is this is from like, this is from season. This is from uh, the the first chunk because the next shot I sent okay. you was from uh, when they go to World War Two because it was Superman like not okay. being able to punch the glass. Okay. All okay. right. All right. I was right. My my folder is just all fricked up. Uh, the reason I was looking at this this uh, right now is because this is the one where we get uh, um, what? How do you pronounce? How do you pronounce Green Lantern's former mentor Katma? and lover? Is it just Katma? Katma Tui. Yeah. But you just say Katma. Yeah, they went real hard on <laughs> that outfit. <laughs> full, full. Uh, Slave Leia outfit. Yeah. And like just that long shot of her swaying her hips as she walks into the camera. Uh-huh. And then uh-huh. I sent you the thing. She puts, she puts the thing in the pocket dimension. <laughs> Where'd she put it, Hank? Yes. Where'd she fucking she put this? She puts a ring in the fucking, it's like, like it's a pocket, but she's wearing a fucking thong bikini. Yeah. Imagine uh, Slave like pocket Leia. Pocket dimension, clearly. Imagine, imagine Slave Outfit Leia. Like receiving a small bobble and putting it in the side where there's clearly no pocket or like pouch or anything, and it just disappears. He's gone. It's in her pocket. It's and, fine. And Green, Don't worry the, about it. In the shot, the way Green Lantern is looking at her, it's like he feels the same way I do, but he's just, he's not gonna say it. It's very funny. Uh. That fucking uh, jerk ball Green Lantern fucking eats it <laughs> immediately. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's like, who are the worst Green Lanterns to GL in that episode? Fucking send him into the sun. <laughs> fucking <laughs> giant death cannon. Boom. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> yeah. I think Katma's just fucking fine. <laughs> She's like annoyed he's come to help her even. I mean, so yeah, funny. like nobody liked him. <laughs> he was just there by like he didn't he, follow orders. It's probably a fucking technicality that he's a green lantern to begin with. Mm. Something, I don't know. His uncle works at Green Lantern. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we get great Kilowog stuff this episode. Oh yeah. 
uh, Flash handing him things and he just eats them and says, delicious. <laughs> like John's copy of Old Yeller on VHS. Nom, nom, nom. Delicious. That's a that's a classic dish. <laughs> I thought, um, shit. What was it? I, it? Left my brain. <laughs> I don't. I don't okay. think. I guess. Never mind. No, I don't be doing any of that. Uh, the most notable thing about Despero is that he's voiced by Keith David, so his voice rules. I don't know who that is. <laughs> By name alone. Oh my god. Anyway. Well, fine, I'll learn. Keith David. He's in he was in Saints Row as Keith David. <laughs> I don't know who that is, oh man. I don't know Saints Row either. Not well. well he anyway. played a he played a character and then later they just had him in the game as himself. Mm. Mid later in Saints Row mm. Four. Did he <laughs> video games? Hang on. Okay, yeah, I don't. It's been a long time since I've done Saints Row, and even then, it was like two. Uh, he played uh, the president on Rick and Morty. Oh, and he was. The... He's the arbiter in Halo he... Two. And three. Yes. Uh huh. He's the arbiter. I was trying to think of things we covered. Things we covered? Hmm. Oh my That's god. That's why I didn't think of the that. arbiter. <laughs> he's been into like fucking everything. Well, maybe if we would have done a Halo episode, then it would have been something we covered. <laughs> yeah, these. This is a. This is a D- 2022 DC League of Super Pets. He was Dog L. <laughs> Hank, what are we doing? What are we doing? We're missing all the best DC content. <laughs> anyway, okay, it's it's this guy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I did notice that he had a good voice. You know, mm-hmm. just didn't didn't really look into it. I guess. Uh, is this the one where the thing? I can't remember if it's this episode. Is this the one where Hot Girl slaps Green Lantern on the ass? Yes. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just I was kind of surprised it was in there. You know, <laughs> I'm surprised they got it in. Uh huh. Uh-huh. She's like telling him, she's like talking him up because she doesn't like how her, his like ex girlfriend's treating him. But then she's also like, but also fucking get in there and fucking yeah. tough it up. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's allowed because it's like a sports pep talk, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Get in there, champ. Exactly. But also, she's down bad. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> which I, I mean I like that they're like they're, they're, they weave that they're into building. shit you know like they're they're, they're letting it yeah. they're letting it simmer they're letting it cook uh-huh. it, it, uh, it's seen him like with his yeah. you know as he, he can't really use his yeah. ring and stuff it's uh it's similar to the mm-hmm. World War 2 episode where he's like fucking give me a gun <laughs> Like yep. I'm, uh-huh. I can still do shit. It's the best I can. Yeah. Which is correct. I mean, it would have been fucking depressing and bad to see him just being like, "I don't got the ring. I can't. I can't help." Oh. Uh, th- no, and, these episodes uh, are good. And like when I think of the Green Lantern episode of Justice League, I think of this one. I don't think of that that one from season one where he's on trial. I'm going to think of that one because there's like the, he says the thing and shoots the giant, like it's the fucking big, like that was too cool. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was too uh-huh. fucking cool for, like, <laughs> that line in a void just seems so lame and they made it uh-huh. fucking cool. 
And that's sure it was fucking really like cool. <laughs> Phil Lamar. <laughs> like it was sick. Oh, it was solid. Uh, yeah. This is also, I mean, the bald dude ate shit. So, like, it's a pretty good Green Lantern episode. Yeah. The thing of, like, like Despero's whole religious thing, it's just weird here. It's hard to, like... It's yeah. like, is he, how much is he lying? How much is, <laughs> he did, he does have superpowers, but he like got them from, he like is manipulating the life force of the planet. Uh, yeah. It's, it's like a weird thing where like, I don't he, feel like I got, I don't feel like we got the full explanation for how that happened. Yeah. He got the powers, but the powers were like the thing keeping, like they were, it was like, the, I don't know. I also was kind of wondering about that. Yeah. He was the evil one. It, the power wasn't evil. Yes. Um, Which was and like... The planet regrows. It was fine. I mean, I like the I like the planet regrowing. That was cool. That's forest approved. Um, <laughs> but, you know, like the rest of it was kind of like, okay... Why did you give this dude yeah. powers then? <laughs> did he? Do you give anybody powers? Who, yeah. who rolls like, up? How did this guy? How did this guy leverage what you are into what he was doing? I can't remember. Was he? How did that As soon as he got the powers, was he bad or was he just doing like? We don't really know. We only have his word for what he was. His life was like beforehand. Yeah, just kind of like his his propaganda spiel anyway. But does he does he say anything about immediately after he got the only thing I can fucking think of is if like at like yeah he like because he 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 walked into the desert and he saw God and came back buff and with <laughs> me- strong mental powers. Uh, if only it were that easy. <laughs> That's how you start a religion. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know how I got shredded? Yeah. Follow me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I just yeah, it, it was it was a little weird, but like rule of cool or whatever, I guess. Yeah, like I'm not bothered by it. It's just like if I actually stop and think about it, I'm like, so what was? I mean, look, what that's like all of these episodes. <laughs> mm. Can't stop and think too much about the the stuff. It's not. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Um, so let's think about a better world. Yeah. Um, holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. It's so sucky. Uh... I, I was not prepared. How about that cold open? <laughs> I was not prepared for the cold open. Um, <laughs> I was like, is this a dream? Is this like superhero, like Superman's having his nightmare or whatever? And then uh-huh. fucking... Wonder Woman asks how he feels, and he says, I feel great. And, like, <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> like, oh. It was that was it was fucking crazy. The fact that Wonder Woman and Batman fu- realized what, something happened because they're like, do you smell that? Yeah. Yeah, dude. Uh. That and fucking lobotomizing everybody everybody's fucking walk like he does it to whatever fucking asshole lands on the on the when they when they go to the alternate reality doomsday sure him yeah um and he does it i'm like holy fuck and then they go into arkham and everybody has the two dots well did you notice the the one exception (laughs) I I I uh, I can't think of his name. The dummy, the ventriloquist. Yeah, the ventriloquist yeah, is the not lobotomized. He's not. The, but dummy, the dummy is, is lobotomized. Yes. Scarface is lobotomized. Yes. That's such a good detail. It was a, that was very good. <laughs> that was that was incredible. Uh, but like, holy fuck, dude! No, oh, it's so the, fucked up and creepy. It's so wild. 
And like poison ivy, like the flash is out there and poison ivy is there. And she's like, I guess I would have used to care about that, but I don't really care about anything anymore. Uh huh. Like, oh, he's There's like, fucking... oh shit, sorry, I gotta go. And she's like, okay. And just goes back to her shit, like, fuck. And the Joker. Yeah. Like, What's the password? Right. But Wonder Woman was supposed to say it. Presses the button and runs away. <laughs> and Green Lantern calls him a weasel. <laughs> oh, this shit was like... I don't know. It's... It, it's interesting. I mean, it's fucked. <laughs> yeah. It's so... So, in the... Like, the version of this that exists... Like, originally what they were going to do... And the like thing of comics they're pulling from is the crime syndicate, which they're just evil. Like they use their powers. They use they're like the Justice League, but they're different people. They're not the, the same people. And they just use their powers to rob banks. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like there's no like if there's no like nothing is psychological. So the fact that they just made them. It's. It's our guys, right? Yeah. But yeah. they've gone bad. That's so much. There's so much more juice on that because it makes the episode not like about just our heroes versus evil versions of themselves. It's like our heroes versus themselves. Yeah. Which makes it so much more like compelling, so much more compelling drama. Oh, yeah, dude. And the fact that like. I think we get a. I think it's Superman we get the bit with, right? Because he's like the catalyst for the Justice Lords. Yeah. Um, I think he has a bit in this where he's like, "Of course I've thought of it." <laughs> like, he, I, he he implies that like he he's had these thoughts and like the temptation is there or whatever, right? Because mm-hmm. like obviously it fucking would be for any. I think anybody to be mm-hmm. like, it could just be that easy. And like that's why he's fucking Superman though, is because he doesn't do that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um No, it's just cause it's just cause the Flash is alive. It's all about oh, fuck, yeah, as long as right. the Flash yeah, is yeah, alive, yeah, yeah. it's the all Flash fine. Is fucking <laughs> morals. Yeah. It's like you can't do it, right? You can't kill me. You know? I've done a lot of things in the last couple of years I thought I'd never do. Yeah. One more won't hurt. Yeah. <laughs> God. Oh. Luthor was also funny as hell in this episode. I, lo- I love that he's just watching on TV. He's like, it's fucking not them. Dude, that line was so good. When the, when he does it, the, when Superman outs uh, uh, Doomsday, right? Yeah. And he's like, it's not them. I was like, this is so fucking good. Yeah. And the fact that they put Doomsday in this episode. Because, like, Doomsday... Is is like that's the death of Superman's story, oh. where Superman and Doomsday, like Do- Doomsday is the monster that punches Superman to death, and like they like punch each other until they're both fucking dead. But this this you have evil Superman, so he just fucking like t- comes in at a side angle, and lobotomizes it, and wipes his hands. Yeah. That easy as pie. Oh, that's crazy. Because <laughs> he's willing to cross these lines that our our real heroes don't cross. Like, and when they're fighting, I fucking love it. Where like Green, the other evil Green Lanterns using like fucking bladed weapons. Yeah. <laughs> Wonder Dude, Woman's ready to fucking crush Batman with a rock. <laughs> evil they're... Wonder Woman. Dude, their fucking outfits are pretty fire, though. Yeah. I think I think honest if I'm being real, Wonder Woman and Hot Girl get kind of shafted <laughs> a little. Sure. I think I think Wonder Woman's redesign is like the worst. You just don't like short hair Wonder Woman? Uh no, I'm down with short hair Wonder Woman, though I I just don't like the the outfit. I do think it is funny that sure. evil Wonder Woman wears heels. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed that. I was like, oh, okay. Um, I do know they thought about putting a goatee on Green Lantern, but they thought that made him look too evil. <laughs> just keep that just keep that one that. in the back of your brain. That, that they made that choice here. 
That's very funny. <laughs> it gave evil. like it gave away the game too much. Oh, you know what? I that's I could see it. That uh, that's true. Yeah. I could yeah. Because like, even though we ha- even after the intro, we still had that conversation with uh, GL and Hawkgirl, like about the protesters before we've like fully revealed that this is an alternate universe, right? Yeah. So you're, you're, they're True. still kind of like stringing y- y- the audience along. Yeah. What the no, f- that's what's a, the fucking deal? <laughs> that's a that's a good point. I I can I can agree with that. Yeah. You know what I just noticed? I'm looking at a lineup of them. They have like a more like uniformed appearance. Like they yes. all have the bands so on their arms the- and legs. The those designs came from like Bruce Tim was like toying around with giving the the Justice League a uniform like a more singular design mm-hmm. for season two and that it didn't they didn't do it partially because he went when he went to DC about it um, Paul Levitz said it was like not the big three you can change anybody else's outfits Superman Wonder Woman Batman untouchable <laughs> for whatever reason yeah. <laughs> I will say at least in in this design Hawker looks like she's wearing a helmet though. Like that's a helmet. That's not part of her head. That be, yeah, that'd be silly. So one of the parallels I love is when they so both teams have a scene where they walk into a trap and they get they're getting electrocuted and both times it's hot girl like channeling the energy through a mace and then breaking the wall. Yeah. That 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 mirrors cuz it's them. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, dude. I I, did, so clever. I I did notice that. that but in the solid. the Justice Lord Green Lantern fucking like takes like puts her in the hospital and RGL can't fucking pull the trigger. <laughs> he hesitates. Yeah. Um I I mean it it, it kind of circles back to the the um the Doctor Destiny episode, but like mm-hmm. the fact that Batman was like the key to all. <laughs> it's very, <laughs> it's fucking interesting, dude. Yeah, like, well, I love how well they only break out because of Flash. <laughs> they only break out because of Flash. Yes, that part's fucking amazing. It's super. The Flash good. stopping his heartbeat. And dude, Batman's like, yeah. I didn't know you could do that. Neither did I. <laughs> I had, to, I had to come up with something if you weren't going to come up with. And he's like, how could I? That was him predicting everything I could ever think of. Yeah. Who could predict you? It's yeah. Fire. Uh, isn't it he didn't stop his heart? He just made it beat so fast that it looks like it's flatlining. Yes. <laughs> he made it beat so fast that it looked like it had flatlined. That's so good. <laughs> like, oh. Very, it's great shit, dude. Also, the uh, fact that, like, because it's him and like that Batman is like super fucked up about it, right? Yes. Uh huh. God. <laughs> yeah. This uh-huh. episode was just so good. Oh, that's um another thing that's worth mentioning about part of why I think the writing part of why the writing got better this season is they changed their approach to they weren't just having like one person script an episode. They would bring in all the producers and the writers to a writer's room and like hash out the episode together. Mm. That's why there's so many more like little good little bits because everyone was being more collaborative. Nice. So the so the argument where Batman is arguing with himself on it, if it was right to fucking <laughs> take over, they were like had that argument. And then they got to the point of like Batman saying like there'll be a world where a little kid's parents will never be taken from them because of a guy with a gun, and they're like, "Oh well, Batman, evil Batman wins." Fuck. <laughs> 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 and I was like, "All right, that's our act break." <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that that whole thing was fun. God, it was so good. <laughs> Him going through the Batcave and doing all that shit. Hmm. Well, they never. Um, you never really see Batman talking in that scene because it's so it's all just Kevin Conroy talking to himself. <laughs> yeah. It's all 
It's like it's psychological with Batman arguing with himself. I was I was thinking of that. Like just how it's Yeah. yeah. Also, when they're in the fucking Is it just the Batmobile that they're driving around yep. in and they see uh-huh. the yeah, dude getting arrested? Yeah, would our parents uh-huh. be proud of this world? They'd love it here. Who? Mom and dad. They'd be so proud of you. Fuck. <laughs> Just drive. <laughs> Fucking <God>. owned. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh. And then he, he shows up to get the army off the Justice League. And Superman's like, wow. For, I, was like, I, even, I thought you were him. And he's like, I am him. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> it's so good. I thought he was him. He fooled me. Mm. The, the, I mean, the big thing for me about part of why I like this episode so much is is directly related to that, and it's because they go back, right? Justice Lords go back. Mm-hmm. They, they get punted to their own dimension or whatever. But the fact that Batman is there, and now he's thinking a little differently, like... Makes me think a lot. I, as I've discussed, when I get thinking about things, that's when I really like them, right? When they can make me like mm-hmm. just muse over it. So I was thinking about mm-hmm. that a lot. <laughs> like well, it's style, so much, you know. Well, if you compare it to this, is one where if we compare it to the Superman the animated series where we had fascist Superman, this episode's so much better. Because they never have to redeem evil Superman. He just sucks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, he made those choices for those reasons. And he doesn't have to, like, have this, like... Oh, I guess what I did was bad. <laughs> <laughs> you get the Batman part where, like, there's, like, an argument to it. And, it like, there's meat there. But for Superman, it's still pretty simple. And he's just, and he's just so, like, he's that last thing is just, you fucking had to team up with Luthor. Everything Luthor does from here on out happens because you did this. Yeah. And that's also worth keeping in mind. <laughs> yeah. Luthor is going to continue to exist. Shocking. He's a, he's a free man. He was pardoned. Part of his speech is based on the um, the president of Turner when he resigned. Oh, that's where that. Okay. That's where there's no poetry in it anymore. Line comes from. <laughs> <laughs> that's an actual thing someone said. Nice. There's no poetry in it. <laughs> I mean, it's a good line, uh, if a bit ridiculous, depending on what we're <laughs> talking about. Uh huh. Also, they put they put Lex in a gray suit, not a his black suit, because he's not evil anymore. Well, he's not fully evil. He's, he's not he's a white reformed. Suit. He's reformed, yeah, of course. You no, know, forever. You know, you never go bad again. Why would that happen? Why would why would he make those choices? Hank, the list is fucking endless. Rejected by a girl. <laughs> um... You fucking, like, get a bad grade or whatever that... Like, someone is smarter than you. Uh, You didn't get the promotion. You don't like your Uh, boss. Like, there's... No, no, no. no. See, it's Lex Lex Luthor. There's there's only one answer. Fuck Superman. (laughs) Hates Superman. Like, Superman still exists. (laughs) Um... And the, there's that shot of Superman picking up the American flag at the end that looks really wonky. The The flag on the ground looks like incredibly tiny. Oh, okay. I, I, I didn't, I didn't notice that. It's like, apparently it was like really a problem to get them, the, the animation, which so the animation part doesn't look like they got what they wanted, but there's like a shot right before it with just the flag on the ground and it looks it's bad. It's just like uh, looks very small. Yeah, I didn't notice that at all. And it's very cheesy. 
Oh, it's but I like, remember it being cheesy as shit. Yeah. 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 It's like, yes, we are post we are in a post nine eleven world. <laughs> <laughs> We weren't sure if he would, for a bit there, we weren't sure if he should, you know, if like him fighting for the American way was, was correct. But it is. <laughs> Actually. Uh huh. Well, yeah. So, uh, that's, that's where we're going to stop for now. It's a great fucking, I mean, great episode to end on, but also like terrible because like you want to do more immediately <laughs> like i mean it's yes. good for getting me to just like i fucking need more yeah mm-hmm. and also like i just want to put this idea out in your head say you were gonna say the government might have a reason to not want to trust the justice league maybe here's an example of a thing that happened that people might be worried about you know yeah Maybe, maybe people. This might make people make certain decisions in the future about what they, how they want to handle things. You know? Are you telling me the military is going to get this, involved? This happened. Are you telling me the military is going to get involved? You Some son of a involved. bitch! I mean. <laughs> This is I I don't I can't separate my feelings from my adventures with Superman. <laughs> yeah, no, that was bad. I can't at all. Uh-huh. Like, what? Like, okay, you think you think Superman? Is, so I don't I don't give a shit that I can't separate my feelings. I'm gonna lump it all into one. Like, it, it, you think the Justice League could be a problem? And fucking what? What are you gonna do about it? They're either gonna turn bad or they're not. <laughs> Like, oh. if they don't, you're fine. If they do, you're fucked. What are you going to do? <laughs> Nothing. You ain't going to do shit. Just. You know what happens? I'm just when, saying. You know this, what happens? The show? The show will not forget about this episode. You know what happens when Superman turns bad? His power level increases by, like, a factor of a trillion. <laughs> like, uh. you're actually <laughs> fucked. It turns out he's been holding back this whole time. Like, oh, in every way. Back. Uh-huh. He's not he's not turning anybody into greasy spears most of the time. Yeah, like he said the line. I don't I don't even know that he was gonna do it. Like that's such a strong like a smear? I don't believe it. Not that loser. <laughs> not that dork. I also have to say, it's a complete cheat that Luther just has a gun that turns off all their powers. Dude, I was like, the <laughs> fact that he just fucking like, has that, and he's like... It, he just, he just, just has the off their, switch in this dis- one episode. <laughs> it disrupts their powers. Yeah, well, look, power disruptor. Yours are now gone. Like, what? forever? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Look, you can't... That part, they it. will not bring back. He... He has it in this episode and not the other ones uh-huh. thus far because R&D takes time, Hank. Yeah. You can't just pull an the anti-powers only... gun that works on multiple heroes and types of powers out of your ass. <laughs> no. You don't time. know how long you've been working on that thing. He only built this one because Superman helped him. It was day he one. Don't say that. It was day one guaranteed. The first time he met Superman, he's like, <laughs> I bring bring all the scientists in here right now. <laughs> what does it do? What did it? What did it do to Hot Girl? <laughs> she has physical wings. That's why I said it works out of what it, like Green Lantern, Superman, Martian Manhunter, and Hot Girl, and the Flash. While we're at like the everybody, Woman. all of and one like magic, they all have a wide variety of powers that come from multiple sources. This thing was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we don't know it works on Flash. You know, maybe it doesn't work on Flash. Yeah, it's, they couldn't. It, it's not fast. It can't fire like fast enough or whatever. Like, yeah. Can't handle. It. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was uh, that was a uh, funny uh, thing. No, it's such a Deus Ex Machina, but the episode's good enough that yeah, it was, what, whatever. Blah blah. The fucking. They opened shit. with Superman killing President Luthor. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, um, I wasn't going to be disappointed with an episode that involved Superman <laughs> lobotomizing everybody. Like that's fucking way too in this con in this show's context. Yeah, like, uh-huh. in an edgy comic or something like yeah, okay, eye roll. But uh-huh. like, holy fuck! You're nothing but a mad dog now. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> Luther just puts his finger over a button. Like, fucking do it. (laughs) Uh, And he did it. Salt Circle Podcast. Gmail.com. Salt Circle Pod on Twitter. Anchor.fm slash Salt Circle. YouTube.com slash at Salt Circle. Various podcasting platforms. I'm on Twitter at Comic Panels. I'm not on Twitter. I did re-sign up for letterbox d though wow kind of wanted the i don't know it'd be nice to have like some of my i don't often feel the need to like share thoughts on films but it'd be kind of cool just to have some of them a little more lined up sure of course now the the problem comes of like there are films i want to put on there that i've seen far far enough in the past that i can't fully yeah. remember but recently enough that I don't want to watch them again <laughs> mm-hmm. or I just don't want to watch them again but I wanted to like yeah. rate them or whatever so it's like what the fuck do you do just go for it I guess and what's my rating system I forget what that site uses if it's like four or five stars or whatever what does that mean to me sure because I always thought I've always thought of myself as uh more of a thumbs up, thumbs down kind of guy. Yeah. I like Roger Ebert's approach to giving movie stars where he only he gave them stars based on like what they were trying to do. So a stupid action movie that's a lot of fun. That's perfect rating, baby. Hell yeah. <laughs> Dude, that, what I was reading is his uh, Beowulf review and it was like super high rated. I'm like, oh, OK. Yeah, He's yeah. just having a good time. Yeah. He, he, like, rated movies based on, like, and then, like, his, like, mood would affect it, too. Sure. <laughs> like, you could tell if he was having a bad week. Like, all his reviews would be, like, eh. Dude. It just, his... there's, like, a humanity to it that I that I appreciate when, like, I was reading him regularly. Yeah. I mean, his, fuck it, like, clearly in his Beowulf review, he's, like, if I was 13 in this audience looking at Angelina Jolie, I'd be... <laughs> thrilled this film is great (laughs) that movie's not great but yeah that movie is great in the way that he frames it i agree with him that movie's (laughs) stupid it's fucking it's not as stupid as uh um why can't i think of why can't i think of guy the actor's name i'm beowulf uh chris lambert i'm not gonna um, yeah yeah got there (laughs) It's not as stupid as that one, but it's still stupid enough to be to be fun. It's nowhere near as good as the Christopher Lambert movie. Oh yeah, that, mo- that movie has Grendel's mom, the <laughs> CGI nightmare. Grendel's and it mom. has, and it has Beowulf doing fucking backflips and firing cro- dual crossbows. Again, my favorite part of the of the Beowulf story, <laughs> outside of him fighting <laughs> Satan. Or uh-huh. Dracula? Was it Dracula? Or both? No, it was just Satan. I think both. I think was both. It, I can't remember if it was Dracula or like a vampire. To both. Okay. It's been a while. I didn't get that one. I, I haven't revisited it because I, I never actually downloaded it. I just fucking bought those comics. Those are the only there. physical comics <laughs> that I own. That's great. I think outside of Saga, when I briefly read that, those are the only physical sure. comics I have. No manga? Um, Not counting that? Do I own any manga? I own one. Don't you own Beowulf comics also? Okay, those... those I meant like con, like serialized, like more of a... That... Oh, you're not counting gra- graphic novels or... A, that's a different category, I see. I'm, well... It's not comics. Yeah, I, I, mean, I see. Like, I see. I see the stance you're taking. Issues like things that came out in issues, like the yeah, Beowulf yeah, yeah, comic yeah, yeah. didn't come out in fucking issues. You know, 
Well, the other ones. That one did. <laughs> uh, the only other thing I, I own that would have that is close to that for manga would be I had like the first I don't know if it'd be considered a volume I don't know how many chapters it had like the first volume or whatever of Yu-Gi-Oh before they even got to the cards it was just like the shadow game oh, stuff yeah. uh-huh. and I love I reread the shit out of that um, hell yeah and I had a random issue of Shonen Jump I can't okay. fucking okay. tell you why I don't know if it came with like a Yu-Gi-Oh card or a, a different card or there was something attached to it or I just fucking saw it in the store and wanted it for some reason. But I had one yeah. random issue of, of Shonen Jump. Do you know what issue would would have been in it? Um, I told you that one page of Naruto that was in it. So it's whatever fucking... <laughs> Whatever issue had that <laughs> in it that week or whatever, uh, I'd have to I'd have to look. I could figure it out though based on that. Like that's yeah, uh, uh-huh. that's easy enough. You were incepted with anime at a young age. Yeah, I that think I, all of the us. funniest thing is that I think I took like the I took like the a, a, a side thing from it. That might have been an sure. issue that like. I, I don't know if it was related or not. Because one of the earliest mangas that I read in full was uh, Keikaio Hitman Reborn. It was dog shit. Uh-huh. It, sure. it could have been great, except the protagonist never was confident. Like, he was a little bitch. And I'm like, okay. He doesn't want all this shit thrust on him. He's a little bitch. He, he's gonna uh-huh. get He's going to get more powerful, which he did. He's going to get better. He didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it, uh-huh. it pissed me. I read the whole thing thinking surely <laughs> surely it'll happen and then I got to like the last fucking thing and I'm like surely the epilogue will show him like better and it didn't and I'm like I have never been this cheated in my entire life but I was real into it for a, for a minute there that's very funny anyway anyway uh, uh, we can call it now yeah Thanks for listening. Peace. Peace.